Hey guys, Max Convexity here. Hope everyone's having a great night. Let's look at these uh, option trades for tomorrow. Here's JEPY. These guys sold 270 puts at the 51.75 level for $18.22. We have to subtract 18.22 from 51.75 to get the break even, which is 51.56.78. These guys are going for a max profit of 491,000. And it would take these guys to a positive 17 cents on the month. And I always forget to do this. Dividend estimate at 59 cents right now. So that's right in line with last month. Triple QY. These guys sold 163 puts at the 18140 level. They received $109. Called $110. Subtract 110 from 18140 and you get 18030. So that's the break even. We're, we're rooting for that number. Going for a million of one, or going for a winner of 1.7 million, a max winner of 1.7 million. That'll take these guys to negative five cents earnings per share this month. Dividend estimate is probably wrong, just like the last one is. This is the next thing I need to figure out how to automate. Oop, yep. 75 cents to gave some more you gave some more sense to it all right now on IWM well, I guess I better just do that first so see all right dollar 27 only paid a dollar 10 last time that'd be nice been a great month for IWMY not just extrinsic capture wise but actually as far as net profit goes they've been making a lot of net profit they're up 60 or they're up 58 cents right now on the month if they get this winter tomorrow the six hundred and seventy one thousand dollar winner tomorrow to be 66 cents so these guys sold the 2075 put 656 times for $10.23. 1023 less, or take take 1023 away from 2075, you get 2064.77. So that's break even. Like I say, these guys are going for 671,000. It's going to make their dividend estimate $1.27 on the month. TLT is still in the valley of death. Uh, I know that for sure. Jax is getting ready to bark, of course. Uh, let's look over here. This is supposed to go back. This is just this week. This is the change on the week. The change from Friday's close. I mean, it's been a great week to be a high yield fund. Look at almost every instance the high yield fund outperformed the the benchmark. Benchmarks are in red. I mean, Square outperformed Sky. KWeb outperformed Clip. Misty, MS Mister outperformed Misty. That's not a big surprise. NVIDIA almost outperformed NVIDIA. Tesla, I mean, it, it's been a good week to be a, to be a fun. Now today, NASDAQ was down 83 basis points, but it knocked all the high yield funds down. They all had pretty good buffer. JEPQ had really good buffer. THTA actually squeaked out a, a win on the day. S-Fall, also a winner on the day. 
Good job, S. Fall and THTA. Fepi actually underperformed the NASDAQ. That's rare. Fepi usually doesn't. Fepi's usually an outperformer. All right, this is just one day change right here. You can see it looks like most everything was in line. No real big surprises there. Out of the S&P complex, the best looking fund was Jep I. Jep I looked really nice, but XYLD and Bally also looked good. All right, let's look at stock index futures. See what's going on. All right, I had the daily bars up there. We need to get on the 30 minute bars. See what's going on. I'm showing up 24 bips. So futures are up a little bit. It's NASDAQ futures. Uh, S&P futures are only up nine, nine one hundredths of a point. Russell futures are straight flat, zero, zero, zero. Bitcoin looks pretty flat tonight. Dollars flat. Looks kind of like a boring night right now. All right, I'll be back in the morning and we'll figure out where we're at as soon as the market opens. I'll uh, we'll, I'll come on here and we look we'll look where we open in relation to the uh, the profit boxes. Uh, just to show you, I have profit boxes drawn for tomorrow. I prepared for the show. This red box right here is the box for SPY T, and I also did it like, the day they started, five days ago or whatever, last Thursday. Um, so all it is is wherever the market opens, the market opened right there yesterday at 51.75. They sell an at the money or slightly out of the money call spread, so they sell the 51.80. And then they buy the fifty. They buy the fifty-two hundred. So it's a twenty-point, uh, twenty-point wide call spread. But they're just doing that. They're doing that to earn income. And the bad news is they're capped. But the good news is anything over fifty-two hundred, because they own spy shares. And if the market ends up going to fifty-two, ten. It didn't, but it had it gone to 52.10, they would have actually realized uh, the gain over uh, the strike of whatever call they bought. And they bought the 5200. The other day it was 10 points wide, I think. They sold the 5165 and then they bought the 5175. So, uh, and that one, it blew right through. It blew right through and it looked like it was going to come in handy that they bought protection, but then it ended up closing way underneath. And actually, it would have been fine for them just to sell it uh, naked. They didn't even need to sell the other call. Of course, they're always going to do that. But I'm just saying, in hindsight, they didn't need the protection. And today, we didn't need the protection at all. The protection also keeps the margin from being too high. It, it's... Uh, it, it makes the trade defined risk. It's the trades only the risk on the trades only is equal to how wide the uh, the strikes are, how how far apart they are. So, in any event, I will try to keep an eye on it. They don't they can't post it the night before because they don't know what it is till the next day. But uh, I I happened to see it this morning before I did my show, and so I put it up there. So we'll probably cover it. I just I think if they just do the same thing every day. It's just so boring and mechanical, it's not really going to tell us much, is all I was thinking. But in any event, I do have uh, I do have the profit boxes drawn. This is for IWMY.
and of course JEPY. Well, we've already looked at that, my bad. And of course, I should say triple QI. Absolutely. I made that box way too long. It's like two days long. Well, tomorrow, though, is options expiration, so they probably will get some two day options someday soon. Probably, well, tomorrow night they will for sure. Tomorrow night, they'll get options for Monday. I bet. All right. Well, anyway, I'll keep an eye on that. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll be back in the morning. Thank you very much.